Today I'm in Venice, and as you can see, we're overlooking one of the most beautiful corners in the world. People come here for the beauty of the city, but I think it's also a place that helps us think about where the world is going. I've had the chance to learn firsthand about a story that I think is fascinating. I caught up with a fellow named Eve Ubelman, the founder and CEO of Econem, a company that uses AI to create stunning 3D digital twins of endangered cities, monuments, and natural environments. Come with me as we take a trip on the canals of Venice and see firsthand what he has been doing. Eve, what brought you into the field of using AI to really help people understand what's happening in the world? My grandfather was an architect restoring a historical monument in France, in Pont Saint-Michel, and he did the restoration after the World War II and a lot of uh, restoration of churches. So I was passionate with history, architecture, but I was also really concerned by the destruction of cultural heritage. And when I started my work, I had the opportunity to come in Afghanistan to follow the work of archaeologists that were digging. And in Afghanistan, there is no possibility to preserve physically these sites because there is a conflict. These sites are remote in the mountain, in the desert. So we find the only solution is to preserve the image of those sites, the memory of those sites. So I was interested in imagery technology, you know, to find a way to be accurate in the documentation we can do on the field. And we started taking some pictures on this site in the mountain of Afghanistan, trying to process it, and we had very good results. And I realized that we were able to recreate a full a digital twin of a site. And it's useful for archaeologists because they can work on it, they can create knowledge and expertise on this twin, but also to share these sites to a broad community. And this led you to create your company, Econem. And one of the things you've done is bring your staff here to Venice to do something that had never been done before. It was during the COVID time, we decided to partner together Fondazione dei Musei Civici for a large-scale experiment. The idea was to make a full digitizing of the palaces and the city itself. So I was able to bring my team room by room, places by places, square by square in Venice, uh, because there were nobody there. So we stand like one month here, taking pictures at different levels. Take all the details of the palaces here, the facade. We processed all this data, more than 300,000 pictures. It was the first time we did like a, a digital twin of a city. You captured the city down to, I think, two centimeters. So you can see brick by brick kilometer after kilometer of the buildings and this canal. You see this facade of the building just in front of us. There is eight kilometers of facade. It's a lot. Eight kilometers is not possible for an architect like to make an assessment of each facade, to see the little cracks, to see the little damage. And for us, it was like four hours to take the picture. Then. We just make the processing with machine learning, pattern recognition, AI can detect the damages on all these facades. So it's open really new perspective in terms of conservation for historical buildings. You also really, I think, shined a light on the impact of climate change here. There is a long-term threat in Venice, the sea level rise that will affect the whole city. All the main monuments will be affected by this. And with an accurate, digital model of the whole city, you can really have a clear view of what will happen in the future. We can make like a simulation and we can have a better understanding of the future of the city and find the best solution to protect. You're not only bringing this technology and your techniques to a city like Venice, you're bringing it to other continents and sources of nature like the Amazon. What are you trying to accomplish there? This context of climate change, everything, the environment is changing so fast. So we were studying interaction between cultural heritage and 
natural heritage. And in the Amazon, natural heritage is changing very fast. The vegetation is changing, the, the space is changing. So we wanted to, to see how this change of natural heritage, of biosphere, could affect also the cultural heritage. In Colombia, archaeologists recently found very beautiful painting from 8,000 years ago, wow. from prehistoric time. And these paintings were like protected by the vegetation before, but now it's open to the sky. So you imagine that the rain just affect. So the idea was again to make the full documentation of it and see how we can in the future protect it. We at Microsoft have had, I think, an enormous privilege to work with you and your team at Econem, but now we're working on something new, something at the Vatican. Can you give us a sneak peek of that? For us, it's also a tremendous opportunity to having a better understanding of one of the most beautiful monuments in the world, St. Peter in Rome. And it's a so complex monument that we really need to have the best technology to just to explore the monument itself. There is a lot of different historical layers that start from the St. Peter stone. And then a first basilica, and the second basilica. So with all this 3D dimensional data, we are able to have a clear view of this engineering method from Renaissance to cover a such big church and big area. Because it's like an investigation of the 2000 year history, you know, through one unique monument. And we can see a lot of new connection between the past of the monument, maybe the future of the monument as well, because this technology also will help all the people to have a better understanding of this place, to share the richness of this architecture, the richness of this history for a broader audience. I find it so fascinating what you're doing because you are using new technology from drones to cameras to AI and just an enormous amount of digital data. But what you're fundamentally doing is advancing human knowledge and expanding our understanding, the history of the planet in many ways, and the history of humanity and civilization. You're bringing this all together and spreading it around the world. What do you hope people will take away as they learn from what you're sharing with them? I think whatever digital world we can build, whatever synthetic landscape AI can generate, we all share the same ground. And the same reality, this heritage is our roots. And the goal of my work is to preserve this common ground for all of us. Trying to replicate this into the digital today is the way to be able to preserve it for the future generation. So even if there is some cataclysm, some destruction, we will keep this memory. And this is the memory that will also keep dialogue between all of us through different cultures, through different generations, because we share the same roots. It is extraordinary. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>